So down here you have your Mazda swivel wheel. This is the one you can use to, con to control the infotainment system. And uh, this is for navigation. If you want, these are your quick buttons for navigation, home screen. And this one here is to, for the audio. So down here you can uh, add or reduce volume or mute the volume. And this one is optioned with uh, extra armrest for the driver and uh, I don't think the driver can use it. So if you open, press this button, you can get some storage where you can store some papers as you see, or bureaus or something that you need out of the way. And when you lift it up, it uh, exposes two cup holders for you and the passenger. So you can use the cup holders if you don't want to use the armrest. So right here is the Mazda infotainment system. It's simple, easy to use. Right now it's an applications. When you press down here on this civil button, it shows you the fuel economy, the driver selection, the vehicle status monitor. Um, when you go back, So up here you have your rear view mirror, you have your sun visor for the driver. Then here you have your dome lights, you can control them. Then here is where you store your sunglasses or extra glasses. This is the sun visor for the co-driver. And down here you have your glove box. It's decently sized but it's not damped or lined with felt. This is the view from the back seat of the Mazda CX-3. So this is my driving position. I'm five foot nine and this is where I would sit. So back here, the space is very, very limited. Like you can slide your feet under the chair, but then your shins will now be in pain. For the room back here is basically just for children and um, children under five or 10 years. Because tall adults here over six feet tall will struggle for Legroom and headroom, it's very, very cramped and limited. I think Mazda just focused on giving the front passengers more space and the back passengers, it was just an afterthought.